Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be Chosen Ones. They hate your innocence. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my Chosen Ones in the back. Listen, family. Chosen Ones, they hate your innocence. All right. Now, let me explain this, y'all, because I know hate is a strong word. All right. Um, but it just really grind my gears when people try to pull something out of you that was never in you in the beginning. Make sense, y'all? So what I'm saying is people hate your innocence because you never give them a reason. You never give them a reaction. You never give them a response. And the one time you decide to stand up for yourself, the one time you decide to say, hey, this, this is enough. Right? I can't deal with this. This is the moment where they try to play victim, make it seem as if you're the bad person. Uh, they try to put you in the position, you know, of looking like the villain, right? But in actuality, you have been the victim the whole time, okay? If y'all are experiencing this or if you have ever experienced this, drop in the comments and let me know. But what I'm saying is, y'all, they hate your innocence, okay? So in this video, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and dive deep into exactly what i mean y'all by giving y'all five signs of how you know this all right but before we do so y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel yes sir and not only that y'all y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every video i post let's go ahead and get into it y'all they hate your innocence all right um number one they want a reaction from you yep i know it sounds crazy y'all but you gotta believe it. They want a reaction from you, right? So the best way I can, you know, uh, analogize this or put this to your understanding, it's like a clown dancing for a kid. The kid haven't laughed yet, right? And the clown like, I got my big red nose on, I got my clown suit, you don't see my big afro? I'm funny, you should laugh, right? And that's the same thing with this, okay? They see that you're not giving them any reaction. They see that you're not giving them any response. They see that you're not, you know, partaking in their ways, y'all. Okay, you're not partaking in their ways. And again, these type of actions you will see on your job. You can deal with it from family, right? Random people at your leasing office. Oh yeah, y'all, we're talking heavy, okay? We're talking heavy. Um anywhere y'all where there are people uh whether there are people in power or just humans period okay just humans period Rena, what are you talking about right now again they want a reaction all right you ever seen somebody who just kept messing with you whether you was a kid or in your adult life but y'all get what i'm saying they are messing with you picking at you or not even just messing with you and picking at you but just trying to cause a problem right i mean it even happens in re uh, relationships right well this person has been staying to themselves they not over here you know trying to cause problems or being problematic they just in their own world right and so this other person over here is still trying to argue but you ain't do this but i want this to be done and what we gonna do about this like they still over here trying to argue but you just sitting in here in your little container your little bubble right you in your box however they are still trying to be problematic with you because they are so up here they are enraged they pissed they mad right however you have yet to give them a response people feel like Oh, you ain't gonna give me no response? I'ma make you give me a response. And unfortunately, y'all, we see this in everyday life where individuals, they see that you are an innocent person. They see that you are a good person. They see that you really stay to yourself, right? That's what they see. However, they wanna portray you and depict you as, as being something that you are not, all right? As I spoke about in my last video, but sticking to the point, y'all, they want a reaction from you. Don't give them no reaction, okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, you won't get one. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, you won't get one. Meaning, you will not get a reaction. You will not make me mad. You will not make me get out of character. You will not make me do anything I don't want to do because he who angers you conquers you and you don't conquer me. 
He who angers you conquers you, and you don't conquer me. Okay, Rena, what are you saying right now? Again, listen, chosen ones, they hate your innocence, but more importantly, they want a reaction, and this is how you know they hate your innocence. You ain't did nothing to this person, you ain't slandered this person, you ain't talked about this person. Honestly, you tried to see the good in the person. However, they're still trying to pull the bad out of you. And let me say this. I get it before somebody else said I get it y'all we have a protagonist side and the antagonist side everybody I don't care if you're saved I don't care if you're a Mormon I don't care if you're a Jehovah Witness I don't care if you're a Christian I don't care what you is I don't care who you are everybody has that th those inner thoughts of why well, I do it to them right because we human beings however it's about how you contain those thoughts right and so I do understand that, you know, we all are human. And yeah, you know, sometimes you may want to get out of character. But what I'm saying is, y'all, try, try to minimize that as much as possible because that's what they want from you, okay? And so with that being said, y'all, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and move on to the next one, which is number two, okay? Um, they want to destroy your character, all right? Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they want to destroy your character, okay? And so, listen, y'all. Y'all see how it's going in chronological order? They want a reaction. Now that you have not given them the reaction, okay, to destroy you as a person, right? Now they want to destroy uh, your character, right? Now they want to destroy your character. So after you did not give them the response, after you did not give them the, uh, the reaction, now they want to get, you know, your character to be tarnished and diminished. Yeah, they want your character to look terrible and bad. Oh, that's what they want, family. That's what they want. And so understand something, y'all. You know, I had, I had a situation, right, um, with my leasing office, okay? Uh, you know, I'm very transparent with y'all, and I'm gonna always be transparent, right? But, um, let me just say this, y'all. You know, I'm in the process of, you know, uh, getting myself together so I can move to a better situation, right? However, in the midst of this, y'all, it gets very, very nasty, just being honest. It's almost like a divorce, right? It's almost like a divorce, especially when you have the wrong type of person in your life, right? So the wrong leasing office, the wrong person, whatever. Um, Listen, y'all. I had this leasing office to lose my rent two times. They lost it two times. The first time I was like, you know what? You know, it's cool. Uh, maybe y'all made a mistake, right? I'm always trying to see the good in people. And I still didn't, I still did not even press them on some like, uh, I'm trying to tear y'all down from the sue y'all. Even though I had every right because it's my rent. And if you don't pay your rent, what happens, family? What happens? You get evicted put out and they won't care okay but first time i was like hey y'all i got my receipts what's going on right because they sent out a letter second time it happened now i'm a bit more frustrated like why y'all keep losing my rent this is incompetent y'all are not moving professionally y'all are not moving how y'all should move as a unit together nobody is communicating don't nobody get together and say all right who got the rent there ain't nobody moving in coordination nobody okay cool so now so now check this out y'all I, I i get in the position to where i'm i'm not flabbergasted or i'm not just straight up pissed but i'm more um, just frustrated than anything, family. Just more frustrated than anything. Now here they are. He's impatient. He's problematic. He's a troublemaker. See, one thing about the enemy, y'all, when you don't get in trouble, when you don't want any trouble, and when you stay to yourself, the enemy will bring trouble to you, right? Trouble will find its way in your lap. You like, bro, I ain't even asked for this. The, the devil, like, oh, here you go. Elliot. Ugh. Here you go, Hail Mary. Y'all see what I'm saying? This is the enemy's doing. Okay? And again, remember I told y'all in the scriptures it says that, you know, there will be wickedness in high power places, right? And so you got to understand something. Th these are things that you will go through. And so I'm just letting y'all know this little small situation. However, sticking to the point, they wanted to destroy my character after y'all done lost my rent two times. And there's other things that happen as well, right? Which we'll speak on later in this video. But after y'all done lost my rent two times, 
Now I'm problematic. Now I'm impatient. Now I'm a pain in the you know what. Oh, no, I am. But if I didn't pay y'all, then y'all would be sending me my eviction notice. And that's the thing, too. That's the that's the thing I left out as well. Once they lost my rent, they had the nerve to say, yeah, you know, this is a notice to uh, 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 vacate or a notice to uh, of, an, of an eviction. I'm like, I paid my rent. What y'all talking about? And I had to go up there and get things situated and stuff like that. But what I'm saying is now I'm impatient. Now I'm problematic. Now I'm a troublemaker. Come on, y'all got to make it make sense. Y'all following? Somebody drop in the comments and say I'm following Marino. If y'all are picking up what I'm putting down. Yes, sir. Make sure y'all drop in the comments, family, and say I am following if you are picking up what I'm putting down. But it's a real life true story. Once again, y'all, they wanted to destroy my character. And that's the same thing with you. They want to destroy your character. Simple as that, y'all. Point, pe point blank period, okay? Point blank period. But anyway, moving on to the next one, y'all. Number three is going to be this family. You are above them, right? Yes, I said it. You are above them. Let me explain this, right? When I say you are above them, I don't mean that you are better than people in terms of, like, I'm here and you're there. Like, I am... Uh, superior to you That's what I mean I don't mean that you are superior to nobody Y'all know my motto I don't think I am no better than the homeless man on the street That's just my That's just my philosophy Because God can give it And he also can take it Right But I do believe that you can be above certain people mentally Meaning you think differently from them Meaning your rationale And the way you problem solve Is different from them Right I do believe that you can be spiritually above people Right When you are connected to, to a higher source And they are not They just out here moving willy nilly Okay I do believe you can be above people in those aspects Right So what I'm saying is y'all when it comes to the type of people that you've been dealing with or accustomed to dealing with, okay, you are above these people. You are. And when you are above them, y'all, people know that you are above them. They know that you are above them. So now I got to bring you right back down here. It's not to say that you are superior to them, but the way that you move, the way that you rationale, the way that you problem solve, the way that you carry yourself, your whole demeanor is different from these individuals. Okay. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm different. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I am different. I'm telling y'all some real stuff right now. So understand this family. Um, again, you are above them. I said it. You are. You are above the neighborhood that you're living in. You are above the people that you surround yourself with. You are above the people that you are working with. You are above the people that you are in a relationship with, a friendship with. You are above them, right? You moving at a faster rate. And this is what they know. And so chosen ones, this is why they hate your innocence. All right? See, you was taught all your life, my innocence is going to set me free. My innocence will, people will see my innocence and they're going to treat me better. No, no. Actually, you get treated worse because you are a good person. Actually, you get treated worse because they know that you're, you're not wired to, I'm going to beat your tail. I'm going to get in your face. I'm going to whatever. They know that you're not wired that way. So now they're trying to pull things out of you. What can we do? And naturally, as a human being, you will get irritated because we're humans. You will get annoyed. You will get agitated. Why? Like, <laughs> listen, y'all. If a person is sitting here pinching you, they got about two, three pinches before you. Hey, get off me, bro. I don't know you like that. Get off me, sis. Oh, hey, you like to caught one of these. You see what I'm saying, y'all? You, you got a few. You just got a few of those before you. Yeah, all right? And so what I'm saying is, y'all, although you are innocent, it's a lot of people who want to make you guilty. They want to, you know, victimize, well, victimize themselves, okay, and create you out to be, or, or make you out to be the villain, right? But anyway, y'all, moving on to the next one, family. Number four is going to be this family. Uh, they dislike your calm composure, right? They dislike your calm composure. And so this is what I've been talking about basically the whole video, y'all. Um, when you are calm, when you keep yourself very well composed, you are soft-spoken, you ain't loud, you ain't, hey, I need y'all to take care of this right now. You ain't ghetto. Yeah, I said ghetto, okay? 
uh, yeah, I get it, but understand something, y'all. Ghetto is not attractive. It's just not to me anyway. Okay, carry yourself with some class. I'm not saying you gotta be classy, okay, and uppity, all right. But what I am saying is carry yourself with some type of sense, class, okay. Carry yourself, you know, in, in a way of I represent something or someone. Jeez, that's all I'm saying. But sticking to the point, y'all, they dislike that. You're calm, you're very well composed. And so a person, they want to pull something out there. I know he ain't always calm. I know she ain't always calm. Let, let me see if I do this, right? And see, the enemy be working through these people. So that's why he come inside your household. That's why he come inside your job. That's why he come inside your relationship. That's why he come inside your family. The enemy be working. See, listen, y'all, when you stay away from the enemy, he'll come find you. <laughs> when you stay away from the enemy, he'll come find you. Understand that, y'all. All right? And so you don't have to, you know, go out here looking for it. It will find you. Okay? You just have to be prepared when this spiritual warfare begin to happen. And sometimes, y'all, you don't have no control over it. All you, have, all you can do is pray to the Most High, ask for the armor of God, and make sure that, you know, you are staying connected to that higher source and that higher power. Because he will keep you protected, right? However, y'all, you are not exempt, including me, from spiritual warfare. I'm just being honest. Okay? I don't know how else to say it, family. But anyway... Moving on to the next one, y'all. Number five is going to be this, family. Your innocence shows they're guilty. Yup. Your innocence shows they're guilty. Okay? So, let me just say this, y'all. Going back to the leasing office, okay? Um, after, the, after they lost my rent, you know, after the, uh, the times of them losing my rent, two times, right? Um, taking decades... You know, and not literally decade, because that's 10 years, but y'all get what I'm saying. Taking long periods of time to fix my appliances. Okay? And other things that I haven't even I haven't even spoke on, right? I write a review. Yeah, I did that. I wrote that review. Absolutely. Because see, one thing about people, y'all, when you allow them to step on you. And when you allow them to feel as if they are comfortable from for the things or from the things they have done to you, they'll keep doing it, right? And see, one thing about in our community, when I say our community, I'm sure y'all know, okay? One thing about our community, you know, when we don't like to be considered a snitch. We don't like to be considered, I told this or I said this. But listen, y'all, it's not about being a snitch. It's not. Sometimes it's about, literally, you need to vote in your community. <laughs> literally, you need to, you know, put set committees in your community. Okay? You need to set up legislations in your community. You got to set some standards, rules. This is why when, you know, the other community go to restaurants and they don't like the food they are the first one they are the first ones to write a re uh, review they are one of the first ones to write a review right but see we don't do that right and so what i did was i wrote a review yep i showed it and i don't care who don't like it because when you stay in a place okay this is where you lay your head and they must okay do their best, especially where you're paying rent, all right? They must do their best to accommodate you, period, all right? Brenda, what does this have to do with anything? After I wrote the review, they haul off and get mad, pretty much, right? Pretty much, they get mad. So you step on me, you lose my rent, you do all these different things, and I write a review and now you piss. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. The only thing I have come up with in my head that make logical sense is they hate my innocence. I have done nothing wrong to y'all. But see, my innocence shows you're guilty. Y'all see how that all come together? My innocence shows you're guilty. The on Listen, y'all. Sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me, right? Sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but names, but names will never hurt me. Or words will never hurt me. Well, Rena, what are you saying right now? If what I said wasn't true, why would you be mad? Oh, we don't want to talk about that. Now, we don't want to talk about that. If what I said wasn't true, then why would you be mad? Hmm. Okay. 
yeah, my innocence shows you're guilty. Yeah, I spoke the truth, all right? And so that's the same thing with you. You were speaking the truth at your job. You were speaking the truth in your family. You were speaking the truth with your friends. You were speaking the truth in any circle you go. You were speaking the truth. And when you speak the truth, y'all, people will do their best to make you look like the villain, okay? This is why social media, um, the society, just people in general, okay, can't stand when people tell the truth. They can't stand it. They just can't. Okay, but with that being said, y'all, not going to uh, harp on any more on this, y'all, because this right here is still a positive video. It's a positive message. I want y'all to understand something, y'all. People uh, will hate your innocence. They just hate your innocence. He too good. We need to do something to make him come out of his shell, make her come out of her shell, right? Sometime, y'all, trouble will find you, but it is about how you handle and manage that trouble, okay? Don't allow it to define you and don't allow it to make you to be something that you're not. Same thing with myself, y'all. I use my life um, to let y'all know I'm no perfect human being, right? I'm just a person who stay connected with God. I utilize my gift and I like to inspire others. I like to be here for others. That's just who I am, okay? And so I use my story to hopefully connect with someone and maybe change their perspective on whatever they're going through in life. That's just me, y'all. But anyway, y'all, without putting y'all through a whole coaching session, um, I'll give y'all the uh, recap, okay, and then we'll go from there. So uh, the recap, y'all, they hate your innocence. First sign, um, they want a reaction. Number two, they want to destroy your character. Number three, you are above them. Number four, they dislike your calm composure. And number five, your innocence shows they're guilty. Okay? Simple as that, y'all. But with that being said, if y'all would like to purchase any one of my books, you can do so. Uh, enroll into my social influence course. Click the link inside my description as well. Or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. The link inside my description, okay? I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality